Okay guys, it's a done deal. Got the chip put in. It's right here, the custom tune chip I got to put in here. I also got the, this is the A52, got soldered it in there. I got this J1, this is a 32, and also the 51 here, and this other one right here. It's all installed there. Remember to put this 51 facing this way. And then uh, this uh, 52, I believe, you want it to face up, okay? And as you can see, I got a different board here. I got a non-VTEC manual. Because the one I originally had to put it on, which was this one, turned out to be the automatic one. But this one has VTEC, but that's not a big deal because my VTEC component here, I'm just going to desolder it here. And I'm going to solder it over here. I'm going to solder it over here on this board. And get it, boom, get it put in there. So I have all the components, not a big deal. It's just this automatic and then plus one of the pins here that I was desoldering got clogged right here is this one right here I don't know if you guys can see that but that one got clogged and I can't just I can't get in you know so I just said what the hell just get a different one in because I got a couple of them in around so anyways this is the finished product here I'm gonna have to do another video on, on the install for the VTEC let's see how that goes but everything else went in well it's all good is the PO602. PO602. This is the P28. Supposedly five speed. I guess it's a five speed. I don't know. But then it's a L52 or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, that's a. I messed that board up. So, this is it. This is the done deal. It's a finished product. All I gotta do is put this one here. This is so I can connect the laptop to it, so I can get fine tuning, and then I also have to remove this uh, number 12 here, and then so I can, so I'm able to tune it, you know, separately through the laptop. But I won't be doing none of the tuning, so you know, unless I can figure it out. But in the meantime, this is all we, we get here. If my buddy, when he wants to tune it, needs to put this here, then I'll get this done and. You know, we go from there, but, you know, I don't think so because this is already pre-tuned for 440cc injectors, Vitara piston, low compression, 75.5 millimeters, uh, HB and Eagle rods, ACL regular bearings, and uh, competition cam. Uh, and I think that's it. That's it for now. That's all it is for today. This is not easy to do. That's all I can say. But it can be done. It can be done. Yep. So. It's not the best job, but I got it done. That's all that matters. And everything looks fine. Now I got to do is test it in the car and see. See how it goes from there. Mm -hmm. So I'll probably do another video and update it with the. With the VTEC install here, because I might put it, I might not put it. It's only 26 horsepower extra, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm already at four minutes, so catch you guys on the next video. This is your little boy DIY low budget repair, bye. and uh, thank you and say bye, buddy.